what it's all about. It's why you work and prepare and, you know, invest your time. So just got to continue to do the things that have allowed us to be successful and uh, then go play on Saturday. Third year in a row you've played these guys, a third different quarterback. What is Francois, what does he do, and how different is Well, he? I mean, first of all, Jimbo does a great job with the offense. I mean, they actually run plays that are, you know, well-designed um, and um, really effective offense. I mean, you look at their offensive line. I think the O-line coach Trigger does a great job. You know, they're physical up front. They really want to run the ball. Um, they got skill outside of wide outs. Um, so when you have those players and then you look at, you know, the running back, Cook, I mean, to me, he's – you know, if not the top player in the country, he's certainly in, you know, that short order. He's explosive. I think he'll be a tremendous player at the next level. And um, he's just a guy that, you know, makes a lot of things happen. So the fact that they're well coached, they got good players around him, it allows him to play within himself. And he's a talented guy. I mean, when you look at him, he, he goes through progressions as far as where he's got to throw the ball. He understands it. He's got a really good arm. He can he can put touch on it. He can throw it into tight windows, and he can throw it into tight coverage. So, um, you know, that's why they're second-ranked team in the country. They're talented, so we understand that we got a challenge and we got to keep working and prepare. Tyler, Bobby was saying on Monday that you guys have rewatched the tape from the last, <coughs> last game last year, the second half, to kind of remind them. Well, every year we always look at our opponents as far as that we play in the conference. In other words, we're going to look at everything. and. Um, you know, try to look and see what's been happening. So, um, you know, we've, we've looked at these guys. We've looked at, you know, everybody we play so from that standpoint. So, you know, we understand what we got to do, and we just got to go play. Do you think it serves as a reminder, though, of what happened in the second half last year? I mean, we've played a lot of games since then, so I don't really know why you're asking that question. So, next one. It, for you guys, for Devontae in a game like this, this is kind of – the first two games, it's been kind of up tempo. The speed. I mean, do you, he's played well, but do you expect maybe a little more from him? Not as really, you go through because the season? not really because you got to play within the system. You got to do what the system asks you asks you to do. In other words, we were in a lot of three down front last week, and in the three down front, based upon things that were happening, he was actually dropping and setting the edge. I mean, because the first thing you had to do in that game was stop the run, and if you look, they really didn't run the ball. I mean, actually going into that last drive, they were slightly under three yards to carry. So uh, we're going to do what we got to do to stop the run. Uh, we're going to do what we got to do to stop the team that we're playing and hold them to a low number. Um, and to do that, Devontae had to do some things in the last game. And then he only played a half in the, fir in the first game. Right. So, you know, I don't think that's a fair question. So he's just got to play within the system. The worst thing to do is to try to do too much and create a seam. So, you know, play within the system, he'll be fine. I guess the better question would have been, he's, he seems so versatile. You had him lined up in so many places last week mm -hmm. that, I mean, he just seems like he's more versatile or you're playing him in more positions than you did last year. Um, yes, I mean, a little bit. But, I mean, it was a little bit last week was more about having to play a certain way relative to who we were playing and the fronts we had to play. So, in that regard, he had to drop a little bit. Plus, they were throwing the ball pretty quick. Um, it really wasn't time to, you know, get there in that regard. And then in the first game, he played the first half. So, you know, we got to play some games and let him keep playing. What about with the – what do you – how do you switch things up for the first half? I mean, you know, it's called the way it's called. we got to live with it. Um, you know, we got guys that are backups, and it's like an injury. So we, we prepare for it and we move on. How do you get him – well, ready he, for, he's, you know he's ready I mean? to play. I mean, he's preparing. He understands when he gets to go in the game, so he'll be ready. So it's, you know, it's what it is. So move on.